It seems like just yesterday that I was about to graduate from high school, and I didn't know how I was going to afford to go to college with only one scholarship. Luckily for me, I met the recruiter at Florida Gateway College, who suggested that I speak with someone in the financial aid office. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Hi, um, I'm about to graduate from high school and I received only one scholarship. Is there any additional money available to go to college? Possibly. Have you filled out your FAFSA form online yet? We encourage our students to fill this form out six months in advance. No. Um, what is FAFSA? And class starts in two months. Do I still have time to fill it out? FAFSA is the free application for federal financial aid. Luckily, the six months is only a recommendation and you still have time. However, there is a priority deadline each semester. Okay, great. Another question though. My friend told me that I wasn't eligible for federal aid if I was getting a scholarship. Not necessarily. Your eligibility is based on many factors. Did you know that many scholarships require you to apply for financial aid? It's best if every student fills out a FAFSA application. You said this was online. Uh, where do I need to go to fill it out? The free application is at www.fafsa.gov. When you get to the website, request a PIN number for yourself. Are you under the age of 24? If so, you'll need to request a PIN number for your parents as well. You'll also need to have your tax return. And again, if you're under the age of 24, you'll need your parents' tax return too. Be sure to write this down. FGC school code is 001501. Great, thanks. Now I don't have to be worried about how many classes I take this semester. Slow down. I'm glad that you're excited about taking classes, but you should focus on classes related to your major. When you meet with an advisor, they will create an individual education plan with you. Why? I want to be an engineer, but I also love art. I was planning on taking every art class you offer at FGC. There are federal limits to how many classes financial aid will pay for. These limits are based on how many credit hours it will take for you to get your degree. In some cases, if you exceed these limits, there may be an excess credit hour surcharge applied to your tuition. It's very important for you to pass your classes on your first attempt and not to take unnecessary classes. To find out more about this and other financial aid information, click the Frequently Asked Questions link on the New Student Orientation webpage. What if I still need help filling up my FAFSA? Can my mom call in and get information for me? Your parents are not allowed to access your files without your prior consent. You can fill out the authorization to disclose information form. This form will give your parents or whoever you give permission to the right to access your grades, financial information, and the ability to see how much money may be owed on your account. Without filling out this form, we will not be able to communicate your account information with anyone but you. Also, you can always bring your tax return to our office before 3.30 and we will be happy to assist you. Okay, just let me make sure I have everything down. Fill up my FAFSA six months in advance. FGC school code is 001501. If I need help, stop by the financial aid office. Check the financial aid frequently asked questions link. See advising for an individual advising plan. Taking too many hours could jeopardize my financial aid. Fill out the authorization to disclose information form in the registrar's office. This is the Student Activities Center, a place where you can hang out, play video games, ping pong, pool. It's also a place where you can find out information about intramural sports, clubs, student government, make copies, and get your student ID. Sounds like a really cool place to hang out, but do we really need a student ID? Yeah, it's a good idea to have a student ID. When you go to get one, make sure you have a copy of your schedule and also a picture ID. If you're interested in SGA, see the SGA advisor. Tell me, what does student government actually do? Well, we're the voice of the students to the FGC administration. We also plan events here on campus. We actually have a calendar of events. Oh, here's one now that has a detailed schedule of every event throughout the semester. If you'd like any more information about the events on the calendar, uh, student activities, student government, just see the advisor here in the Student Activity Center. Hey, isn't this the building that Professor Grammarin said disability service was in? Um, I think it is. Let's stop by here for a second. I have a problem with test anxiety, and I'd like to see someone about it. You get that too? <laughs> I thought I was the only one. 
Welcome to Disability Services. I'm the coordinator of this department. How can I help you? Both of us suffer from test anxiety, and I was wondering if you could help us. Is this a documented disability? Yes. No. Okay. If you've been evaluated, then you will need to bring me the documentation, and I will give you a letter to take to your professor about the accommodations you should receive. If your disability is undiagnosed, you can make an appointment to see me, and I can tell you strategies on how to reduce your anxiety levels. I may also be able to refer you to someone who can evaluate your needs. Here, take my card. In my department, we also have audiobooks, enlarged text materials, and even note takers. Thanks for the information. I'll call you later to make an appointment. Thanks. Oh no, I got a ticket. Is this a ticket? Oh, Aaron, actually, it looks like a warning for not having a decal. On the way out, we can stop by Building 26 and get that taken care of for you. That's not a problem at all, but you need to go to library staff and thank them for their help. They're the ones who found it, and if you ever lose anything again, come here to Lost and Found, there's a good chance it'll be here. Okay, thank you very much, officer. I just got this ticket on my car. Is this the right place to take care of it? Yes, ma'am, you are in the right place, but uh, this is actually a warning ticket, it's a notice. We're not giving a lot of tickets away this week just in case uh, people aren't aware that they need student decals. And it looks like that's the reason you, did, you got one today. Um, but if you've got your ID, your vehicle registration, and your class schedule, we'll get you taken care of right now. If you want to go ahead and fill that out, we'll get you a student decal. Just so you know, we do a lot more than give tickets here on campus. There's various services that you can also find. Um, each of the classrooms, designated areas on campus, you're going to find security phones. Phones ring directly to this desk right here, so if you've got a problem, call us immediately. Uh, if your battery's dead in your car, give us a call, we'll come jump off the car. And um, if you're taking night classes and you feel uncomfortable about walking back to your car alone, give us a call, we'll actually escort you to your car. Thank you. I've searched this entire library and I have not found what I'm looking for for my research paper. Our library isn't limited to just what's available here. Let me show you. We have thousands of ebooks, articles, journals, and reviews available online, as well as many books that we can borrow from other libraries through our interlibrary loan program. So there's a good chance I'm going to find what I need. There's a great chance. To learn how to use our online resources, you can do the library orientation. You can do that here in our library on using our student computers, or you can do it at home. Wow, how do I sign up for a library card? You already have one. Um, but this is my first time in here. Well, as soon as you have your student ID, that becomes your library card. Seems like I'm on the right track. I'm not quite sure how to format my paper. Can you help me with that? You can find information available on our website, or you can get tutoring help in a wide variety of subjects by going to the College Wide Learning Lab in Building 59. Thank you for all your help. I can actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're welcome. We're always here to help. Hey, how's the paper coming? Great. I found all the references I needed. I just got to get writing. How's that math class? I know it's still the first week of school, but I'm so far behind. I've got a test next week. I'm in a study group, but it just feels like the blind leading the blind. I know how you feel. Why don't you get a tutor to fill in those gaps? A tutor? What student has that kind of money? It's free. I just found out the College-Wide Learning Lab has a tutor for almost every subject. The College-Wide Learning Lab? I thought students went there for computers. They have a bunch of free stuff. They have a foreign language lab, free tutors, free printing. You gotta check it out. Free tutors? That's great. With their help, I'll be able to ace this test. Good luck on your paper. Hi. Uh, I really need to speak with an advisor. Can I make an appointment? Our next available appointment is Tuesday of next week. Uh, I really need to see one before that if possible. Can I just sit here and wait? Yes, you can wait. All you need to do is sign this board here and the next available advisor will call your name. Skywalker? That's me. Hey, come on back. Alright. Um, first thing, how do I get out of one of my classes because they changed my work shift 
um, next week, so my schedule is going to change. Well, you're in luck. We are still in the add drop period, so you don't have to worry about withdrawing from your course. Withdrawals appear on your transcript as an attempt at the class, and there is no refund of fees. Dropping it will not show up at all, and fees are refunded. There are strict deadlines for both of these options. Have you checked the academic calendar for important dates and deadlines for the year? I haven't even seen the calendar. This is your academic calendar. It tells you everything you need to know, including deadlines, about the upcoming semester. The calendar is also available on the FGC webpage. This covers a lot of dates. Is this going to hurt my financial aid? I'm not so sure, so you'll need to check with a financial aid advisor. Oh, that does make a difference. Always check the academic calendar. There is a difference between dropping a class and a withdrawal. A withdrawal counts as an attempt. If a student withdraws, a W will be on the transcript and fees are not refunded. Dropping a class is like you never registered for the class and fees are refunded. Now let's take a look at how dropping your math class will affect your education plan. Well, if you drop this class, it will put you behind on your prerequisites, but you should be able to make the course load up over a summer semester without putting you off track. Do you still want to drop the class? Well, I'd rather not take too much over the summer. Do I have some time to think it over? If you look on the calendar, just a few days, but when you make the decision, you don't have to make an appointment to see me again. You can do everything from your MyFGC page. Can I keep these? Absolutely. The calendar is available online as well and in your academic catalog. Thank you so much for your help. Remember, all you need to do to get started is fill out your financial aid application, take care of any required testing, and then make an appointment to see an advisor. If you have attended a college previously, make sure you send in your official transcripts. While you're at it, request a copy of your transcripts for yourself and bring them to your advising appointment. Florida Gateway College will always hold fond memories for me. We really did it. Good, Good luck, luck everyone. everyone. You, you can, can do, do it, it too. too.